Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Guys, today, super excited to share with you guys another great product for your home slash smart home. And this is one of these under cabinet LED motion sensing lights. Now, uh, these are the kind of products that always get me super excited because, you know, sometimes companies will reach out and not all the time do I accept uh, every you know collaboration a lot of times companies will reach out and say hey we have a product sometimes it doesn't work for what I do right and mainly a lot of guys will review things based on you know whether it works for their subscribers or their audience I, I review things whether it works for me you know it's fat cat collections and if it's something I'm excited about then I'm gonna review it it doesn't really matter uh, you know, I, I do appreciate you guys watching. I do appreciate, you know, it's all about subscriber count and views, of course. But, um, you know, you never know what somebody's going to share interest in. And so just because it's something that, you know, um, might do well on YouTube, if it's something I can't get excited about or show interest in, I'm just not going to review it. So stuff like this, I, I'm, always, <laughs> I'm always interested in the light. Uh, you know, they're very practical. So... With this, now I've been wanting LED lights under my kitchen cabinets for years. And in my situation, it was a little bit difficult because, you know, the kitchen cabinets are in there and it's not the easiest thing to get lines ran, right? So, um, you know, what? it's not the most clean installation, but I went ahead uh, recently got an LED kit, uh, just the RGB ones, and I drilled a few holes and I tacked the wire on the inside of the cabinet and hit it the best I could. Uh, from the outside, they look great, right? But, you know, it's not the 100% professional job. I'd say it's a 90% professional job, right? And they work. So when this company reached out, and today we had some kitchen under counter lights, I was like, ah, oh, well, you know, all right, I didn't get too excited about it, to be honest with you. That's until I got them. And these are, I mean, this is one of these products that is extremely well thought out. Um, you know, most of the time I can find, we can all nitpick things, but most of the time I can always find a little something that I would change, right, with most products. Uh, and again, that's subjective, right? This, I, I really w haven't found anything I would change on this. Um, it is just a perfect product, in my opinion. Uh, now, I'm going to put these to the test, of course, and come back and review, but I'm going to read you guys the information on Amazon, which is good because some of the questions I had were actually answered on Amazon. A lot of times they're not. Uh, it's just, I, this is a product that's very well thought out. So, uh, one thing, we have so many products in our life, right? We oh, don't always save the manuals. Uh, sometimes we do, sometimes we can't find them. I like the fact they put the manual right on the back here. Anything you need to do with this light that you can't figure out without a manual, or you'll forget, is on the back. And this is the modes, the tips on what, how many times to press the button uh, when you're turning this on or off. Super thin easy on the eyes. I like the fact that there is no front LEDs. There's no way the LED shines to the front. So if you put these under a cabinet, these almost can be visible. They almost don't need to be recessed for that lighting to be recessed, right? So to speak. Uh, so that's fantastic. Light shines only down. Uh, now, what, whoop, one side uh, does have more of an edge to it. So depending on how you want to mount these, I would probably mount these with this side facing out. And this is completely aluminum, right? Totally aluminum. Whereas this side, there's you can see about, it's about half aluminum, half uh, acrylic, right? And so on this side, you can actually see more of the LED lights. So depending on how you, where you're mounting this, you have two different options, very well thought out. The other thing, again, super thin, I'd say about as thin as a pencil, right? I mean, you can really tuck this anywhere. You have your photoelectric cell and motion sensing uh, sensor right on the bottom. So it's going to pick up, wherever you mount this, this is going to pick up that motion or pick up that dust to dawn, right? The lighter or lack thereof. Um, function button right on the side, super easy to press. Um, then, of course, your charging port. Finally, a company is using USB-C on affordable devices like this. Generally, it's been my experience that USB-C is mainly used on more expensive devices, more expensive cameras, more uh, you know, cell phones are starting to use them. Uh, but there are a lot of devices still using the, I think it's the micro USB. And you have to put it in one specific way. And my poor parents, you know, they always have a hard time. It's like USBs too. I don't know why they don't, they don't change the USB into a, a device like this where it goes in either way. So I love the fact they did that. Very easy to plug in. Uh, no fumbling, right? Uh, as far as modes, you have uh, three different modes and you have brightness adjustability, right? So um, I'm going to demonstrate. You press one, 
turn the light super bright, guys. I, I, I cannot tell you how bright this thing is. And we'll get to the specifics in a second. One press is just always on. So if you want to use this somewhere where you just need it once in a while, you got to turn it on, turn off like a standard light, you can do that. Press it again. This will go into motion sensing uh, and uh, dust to dawn mode. So how this works is the first press here, and I didn't really understand it when I read it, but so you guys know, first mode is night mode. So this is going to detect motion and turn on only when it's dark, okay? Uh, right now, in the sunlight, you can see we're moving our hand, it's not turning on. Press it one more time, now it's in motion sensing mode, which will work in the daylight and in the dark. So uh, if you're putting this somewhere where you might be saying, why would I need that in the daylight? You might be putting this in a room somewhere where you want to maybe have this in the kitchen, where maybe in the daytime, you still want it to come on and illuminate the counter. You know, we turn live lights on now, it's the middle of the day, right? So something like this will still shine. And you can see when I when I show you guys, you, you barely see, I got tilted, trying to get it level. You don't see the light. When I flip it to the other side, you can see a little bit of the light, right? So pretty cool. So this will, again, and during the daytime, if you have this somewhere that's pretty well lit, you still might want this turning on. You have the option to have this turn on or off for motion um, in the daylight, right? Or a well lit room. And if you press it again, you'll turn it off. If you want to adjust the brightness, press it and just hold. And you'll see the sucker will go even brighter. I believe it's kind of set at like a 75%. We press it again, hold, we'll dim it down. So pretty awesome, right? Turn it off, turn it back on. Oops. It'll default to maximum bright or the 75% brightness. Now, from what I can tell, um, only I guess I do have one gripe, and I, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but from what I can tell is when you adjust the brightness, it doesn't default to that on motion sensing mode uh, that I can tell. Unless maybe I'll try to go in if I go to the setting. One, two, oops, one, two three yeah so it seems like the brightness feature or the the, the the dim yeah the brightness feature uh to be able to dim it down obviously <laughs> um seems like that only works if you're going to keep the light on let me just see if it works so i set it up you know the lowest brightness let me press it again no see it seems like it's it's I guess before, let me try to hold it again. Get it bright, let me dim it all the way down. All right, it's pretty dim. Let me go back. Yeah, so from what I can tell, when you set the brightness at the minimum, uh, when you change the setting into your motion detecting mode, it's going to default back to that 75% roughly brightness. So that's, I guess, the only thing I would say. I wish it's, it saved them in its memory the brightness level, and it doesn't appear to do that. Could be wrong, but that's what I can tell so far. So let's talk about what you get here. So right now, you get two of them for 36 bucks, there's a $10 coupon. So 26 bucks, you're gonna get two of them shipped through Amazon Prime. These get a five-star rating on Amazon. Most things that I've seen are get about a four and a half. So that's pretty awesome. It only has 12 ratings, of course, keep that in mind, but still pretty great. USB-C connection has 39 piece uh, premium 4014 SMD LED chips, no flickering, no UV light emission, no IR radiation. Uh, it says here, uh, the performance of high quality rechargeable battery, UN 38.3 certified, overcharge, overcharge, overcurrent, short circuit protection, over temperature protection. So pretty cool, you can leave these plugged in from what I can tell. Uh, again, always contact the manufacturer direct. Uh, and it says here it's a 900 milliamp battery, that will give you 10 times uh, turning on and off a day, which will last up to 90 days. So that's pretty incredible. I have other lights that, that are different than this, that same principle, uh, that, are, that don't last that long. So we're, we're going to put that to the test. Um, so they use low voltage DC power supply, no flickering, no blah, blah, blah. Right, brightness from 10 to 100%. They're aesthetic. That's, uh, you know, I do think they're... They are very aesthetic. It says here the same thickness as an Apple 11, hidden design, no screws. So I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, an intelligent dual mode sensor. Uh, so I'm not going to read all this because there is a little bit of that language barrier, you know. Uh, super dust to dawn sensor and motion sensing. So we're just going to run through that. Four modes. Again, mode one always on, two night mode, three day mode, and four on off. 
Uh, so I don't know if that's really considered a mode, but they list it. Uh, that's about it, guys. So let's talk about how you mount these. So what's cool about these, they have built-in magnets. So I have like a file cabinet here. I got my desk. They stick right onto that. Uh, even on the underside of my desk, it's like kind of got metal bars. Uh, perfect, right? I mean, I'm probably going to mount a couple of these on a desk. Um, also, great for the side of the fridge or down low on the fridge. Again, anything metallic, these will stick to it, right? Um, other cool thing about them is that they come with these metal mounting tabs. So they come pre-installed with double stick tape and they come with pre-drilled for a hole. So uh, they don't come with screws, but if you want to mount these somewhere that is non-metallic, you basically just screw these into your surface and you can attach the light directly to these little mounts. So this is where an under cabinet mount would come in handy because they're obviously not gonna stick to wood. So perfect. Cool thing about it too is that very easy to remove. I've had other lights that are battery powered. I've tried under the cabinet over the years and you always gotta take them down to charge them if you're not gonna leave them plugged in, right? And so it's always a pain to try to pop the thing off. These are no brainer. They just pop right off. Um, honestly, like the design, it, it is very similar to like an, a, hello? <laughs> This would be a pretty cool cell phone. <laughs> Super uh, portrait screen, right? Mm-hmm. Hello? <laughs> cool. Yeah, so, uh, some of you will know who the, I'm imitating there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, it's a killer device. Fantastic. I'm so glad that they sent me eight of these bad boys. Because uh, even my mom and dad were like, ooh, <laughs> those are nice. So we'll see where they want to put a couple of these. Uh, very functional, very affordable. Uh, I mean, really, you can use these for anything. Boat, car, camping, whatever. Um, you can, they're fantastic. So, uh, and again, the amount of light these things put out, it's pretty incredible. I put this upstairs last night. Uh, my parents' bathroom, the night light went out. I was up there. I walked in there, tried out. I mean, illuminates the whole room. And, you know, especially... This time of year, as we get closer to winter, uh, power failures happen, especially in our world now with the uh, with our environment and the storms and all these things we got going on. Good to have. So, plan for the future. So, anyway, guys, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. Don't hesitate to ask. One more thing I forgot to mention: uh, they stay on for 20 seconds, uh, and once you know motion's done, no movement, uh, they'll turn off. So, uh, it's great. You know, when I first got these, I thought, oh man, they only dust to dawn. How are you gonna use that side of the house? It doesn't make any sense. The you know, battery's gonna wear out. These are fantastic. So we're gonna put that to the test. Make sure when you get them, you charge them fully. Nice thing about it, they have a charge indicator. This will turn red when they need to be charged, or when you're charging when they're red, it'll turn green when they're fully charged. So uh, give that battery a full, nice, good charge, uh, and you'll get the longest life out of them. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. I wanna thank this company for the generosity and sending these to me. I probably should mount mention the company. Uh, but the name of the company is Depoir, D-E-P-O-I-R. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, they are on Amazon. Again, link to these is in the description. I'll link you guys to this listing directly. Uh, and then you can probably check out their other products if they have any. If you do want to buy just one, 11 bucks with the coupon right now. Um, let me just double check that to make sure. No, oh, sorry, I misspoke. So if you get one, they're 15 bucks. Uh, $4 coupon on one. If you get two of them, again, $36, you get $10 off, $26. Bucks. So still a pretty great deal. Uh, I encourage you to get them. Uh, it's a really nice way to add lighting in a situation or you know where you, you don't have a plug. You know, Again, I may have drilled it to my cabinets on the insides and ran the lines, but not everybody wants to do that. So this is a great way to add some really efficient LED lighting to your kitchen uh, without having to run into lines. So I'm always for that. So guys, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. Link is in the description and take care.